All right, gonna do a little comparison here. Uh, no, I'm not gonna use the white plastic dip. I've just kind of got it sitting there for size comparison for y'all. Uh, just got the Husky sprayer. Picked it up at Home Depot. It was uh, 30 bucks, I guess. Uh, it's got a 1.8 tip in it. Uh, 600 cc container down below, so it's not real big, uh, but it's about equivalent, maybe a tad smaller to the, the Prevail. Uh, container. Uh, but what I've got is I've got red in the Prevail and in the little Husky sprayer. Um, got it pretty well adjusted. I just picked it up today so I had done a lot of spraying with it. Uh, I've got my compressor putting out about 30 psi. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be spraying some of my my dash pieces red so I figured well I'll take a couple of them and and just do a comparison. Oh, and they're going in that. Uh, and see what the texture comes out, how easy to spray, what kind of coverage, that kind of stuff. So uh, we'll see y'all in a bit after a couple of coats. All right, well, to continue here, I've got one coat of both. This is using the Prevail sprayer. Uh, it goes on a lot thicker in the Prevail. Uh, the pattern the spray pattern isn't as good. Of course, anyone that's used to prevail will know that. Uh, you can see right in here, got some white spots, but it's mostly because the prevail doesn't doesn't give you a nice wide pattern. It, it's fairly narrow, it gets a little blotchy. Uh, this is using the little Husky sprayer. It's like, wow. Uh, it atomized the dip extremely well, put it on. I mean, just, just layered it perfectly. Now, looking at the two, you can tell that on the left using the Prevail it's definitely a, a darker uh, so it might cover uh, quicker in less coats uh, but we'll have to see how it comes out uh, I haven't sprayed this particular this is a red plastic dip self thinned um, same thing I used on the car I haven't used it through the Prevail sprayer uh, so we'll, we'll see how it how it sprays on that, but boy, really, so far, just for first coat, first impression, like the uh, the pattern coming out of Husky. So uh, we'll get a couple of coats on it, see how it does. Uh, I'm not going to take the the bite yet and uh, do the rest of the pieces. So uh, we'll see. All right. Well, I've got three coats now. I think it was three. Yeah, three coats. Um, you can see the Prevail is down. It started out here. It's down about there. Yeah, I, I oversprayed. Anyways, uh, the little Husky sprayer uh, filled it up about three quarters. It's down to about here. Um, the Husky really does use or have less in it. I know I said they were close. I mean, they're pretty close, but uh, I think it's actually got less volume in it. Uh, but like I said earlier, I, well, I just love the way it it sprays out nice and smooth okay well here's the two units this one's the one being sprayed by the prevail sprayer this is the one being sprayed by the husky if I don't know it was going to do so good I would have swapped them because uh, this is a lot to do with the prevail and still make it come out good just just the way the prevails are so let me get this up in the light this is three coats on here yeah, I'd say on a smoother scale, it's got a little texture in it, but the uh, nothing I'm gonna gonna complain about. I don't know how well the the camera's showing it, so we'll kind of try and get some shadows in there. Anyways, on a you know nine out of ten, yeah, you know, I'd, I'd give that a eight, eight and a half. I mean, you know, it could be better, um, but. You know, for the Prevail, it, it's, you know, a pretty good old job. Now, all right, here's the Husky. Now, this one, you'll notice a little bit of texture in it. This surface, that's the texture that was on this normally. The On this surface, it was smooth. Uh, so any texture on there is from the dip and the Prevail, not from the surface. This one actually has uh, a texture on it. Uh, let's see if I've got another piece that has. Well, I've got them all. Everything's got already spray of it. This one also, 
don't know if you can see it white but anyways that's got a little texture on it and that's just what the dip had uh, that was sprayed with a rattle can by the way um, so this I mean you can see how even it is how nice and smooth now I'm spraying this outdoors so you know um, not the most ideal location to spray it um, matter of fact a wasp chased me out of the and up under my canopy earlier um, but anyways I just well, I like the way that little husky sprayer just it lays out a ni nice pattern nice and smooth I haven't had to worry about a um, the thing puddling and, and dripping on me. I'm running, like I say, about 30 psi out of my compressor. Um, I've got a pretty good size compressor. I don't know, 35, 40 gallon. Uh, so it's got plenty of air. It hadn't even kicked on since I've, I've been spraying, which is much nicer than having that little uh, uh, air compressor running in the background when you're spraying a car. Anyways, um, doing pretty good. The Prevail, as you all know, has to, you have to keep the tip clean on it. If you don't, uh, between sprays, it, it'll have problems. Uh, this little guy, um, you know, I wiped the tip off, but it hasn't been having any issue at all. Um, now the spray on this one, the hold's a little bit different. You actually hold it like this, and your sprayer's up here. The first push right to there uh, and it's got a little indent you can actually see the trigger hitting hitting the back this just activates the air and then from there down activates your spray um, this is a materials adjustment adjust the lengths of or how far the, the trigger pulls back and then let's see if you can see it it's got a little adjuster right there that will change you from a horizontal or a, a wide pattern to a circular pattern um, which is real nice uh, then to spray it from horizontal to vertical you just loosen this little black knob and twist it one way or the other um, overall I've been real impressed with it um, I think the rest of the potty parts or the interior parts are going to get sprayed with this little husky um, I used a little earlier did some practicing with it um, and cleanup was was just a flat absolute breeze uh, you put a little thinner in it shake it up yes you shake it up it even tells you to shake it up uh, shake it up spray the thinner through it um, dump that out put some clean in it shoot it through it for a second or two and other than wiping down the inside of the container you're done that's that's the whole nine yards uh, to remove the cup, uh, let's see if I can do this one-handed. It's got this little screw here. You just loosen it. And then you can see where it hooks on. So the top just spins a little bit. And lifts up. So you can even see how much dip I've still got in there. Now I've got to put this all back together with just one hand so that it doesn't fall over. Uh, about the only thing I wish it had or wish it did a little bit different was it does not pressurize the container. Um, so it, it works entirely off of suction as the air comes through it runs over some sort of little inventory assembly in there and sucks the dip up. It, I don't see where it really pressurizes the canister. Uh, I'll check it a little closer. Uh, it seems to draw it up pretty well. I wouldn't want to do a whole car with this whole thing. Um, you'd be filling the container forever for one thing. Um, as far as tipping it forward uh, to spray down, you notice it, it's got a little indentation right there. That's its air vent. It says keep open. Well, that's just a hole in the lid. So I just and answer my question, you can't pressurize if there's a hole. Um, so when I first got it, that little hole was to the front. Well, I thought, well, that doesn't make sense. So I took it apart and turned it around so it's pointing to the back. And that way it will let me tip it further without having to worry about uh, dip.
coming out that hole. Uh, no, I didn't find that out when I tipped it and don't dip on anything. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, I did put a, um, a filter on my air compressor uh, to trap water. Uh, that's a must. And if you don't have a reliable uh, pressure set device on your compressor, uh, go ahead and, and pick one up. Um, the little water canister I picked up or, or, or filter, oh, it was like 12 bucks. Uh, you can get more expensive ones, but I looked at it and the 12 buck ones seem, seem to be pretty good. Um, no more than I'm going to be spraying with, with my compressor, at least for now. Uh, and mine's got a decent gauge on it so I can, I can dial my pressure down quite a bit. Um, otherwise, that's about it. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, you can go ahead and, and leave them on this. Um, but for my money, it was, it was well worth the 25 bucks. Uh, for small jobs like like this, medium jobs I guess you call them, uh, I'm going to pull this out as opposed to prevail, uh, especially if I was going to do touch-ups on the car or stuff like that. Uh, I've got to tape off anyways. Uh, this just gives a much, um, much nicer pattern on it. Um, you don't have to worry about um, runs and stuff like that, where with the prevail you've got to be kind of careful. Um, oh, another thing is uh, spray distance. I'm spraying pretty close to this in the oh five to six inch range, maybe. Um, they say six to nine, so they're even saying pretty close. But I know if you get too far back, um, you start getting some fuzz flying around. I noticed that earlier when I was practicing. Um, so it likes to be closer. Uh, my guess is because it is running so much air to draw the dip up. Um, like I said, I wish it would pressurize the canister and give more dip than air. Um, that, that would get rid of some of that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, and also for that reason, the uh, adjustment valve here, it's quite a ways back. Matter of fact, I backed it all the way out uh, and it actually fell out on me, so I had to screw it back in a little bit. Um, so, other than that, uh, I think that's about it. Good little sprayer. Got it from uh, Home Depot, 30 bucks. Uh, Lowe's has a version of this, but they don't tell you what their tip size is. Uh, at least not that I could find, so I wasn't about to buy one. Uh, this one is a, uh, if you can see it here, upside down, it's a 1.8. Uh, the Huskies actually stamp it on. I haven't been to their site to see if you can get another one, another, another size. A 2.0 or for some of the other sprayers get the uh, the 1.8 tip. So anyways, hey, y'all have a great day. Hope this uh, helps y'all a little bit. And if you're thinking of this little husky, well, I think I'd spend the 30 bucks.